Hi everyone, this is Miss Minton with today's math lesson. Take a look at our I can statement for today. It says, I can tell time to the hour and half hour. In today's lesson, we're going to go over how to tell time on an analog clock to the hour and half hour. Before we get started with telling time, let's do a word problem for our warm up. Our word problem today says, Julissa has 18 stickers. She used some of them on her paper. Now, Julissa has five stickers. How many stickers did Julissa use? First, we need to circle the numbers. We're going to circle the number 18 and five. Next, we are going to underline our question. How many stickers did Julissa use? Now it's time for you to write the equation that you will use to solve this problem and solve it. Please pause the video now and solve the word problem. When you are done, you can click play and we will go over how to solve it. The equation we use to solve this problem is 18 minus blank equals 5. This is because Julissa starts with 18 stickers. She uses some of them, so she's taking away from her collection of stickers, but we don't know how many she used. So we know we're going to have to subtract from 18, but we don't know how much to subtract. We also know that at the end, she has five left. So 18 minus the number of stickers that she used equals five. To solve this, I'm gonna draw models. First, I'm gonna start by drawing 18 circles. Next, I'm gonna circle five of the circles because I want, that's what I have left at the end. Now, I'm going to cross out the circles that are representing the stickers that Julissa is using. And I'm going to count them as I cross them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. I crossed out 13 circles. So, Julissa used 13 stickers. The answer is 13. Great job. Today, we will tell time on a clock to the half hour. Yesterday, you guys worked on telling time to the hour. On the screen, I have two anchor charts. The anchor chart on the left shows how to tell time using clocks. The shorthand is the hour hand. That's what we say first when we're telling the time. The long hand is the minute hand. That's what we say second when we are telling the time. The time on this clock is three o'clock because the hour hand is pointing to the three and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. When the minute hand is pointing to the 12, we say o'clock. So three o'clock. Take a look at this next anchor chart on the right. This clock is showing the time 3.30. The hour hand is in between the three and the four on the clock. When the hour hand is between two numbers, you want to go with the smaller. So the hour is three, and then the minute hand is pointing to the six. Whenever the minute hand is pointing to the six, the minute is 30. So the time is 3.30. The hour hand is between the three and the four, so the hour is three. The minute hand is pointing to the six. So the minute is 30.
Now we are going to practice reading the time on a clock. Take a look at the analog clock on the screen. The hour hand is pointing to the three and the minute hand is pointing to the 12. So the time is three o'clock. When I take this minute hand and I move it to the six, 30 minutes has passed, half an hour. So now the time is 3.30. Take a look at the hour hand. It's in between the three and the four. So when the hour hand is in between two numbers, you wanna go with the smaller number for the hour. It's in between the three and the four. So the time is three, and then look, it's on the six, 30. The time is three, 30. Let's do another one. Take a look at the clock now. The hour hand is in between the eight and the seven. So the hour is seven. And the minute hand is on the six. So the minute is 30. The time is 7.30. Now I'm going to hide the digital clock and I'm going to show you a time on the analog clock and I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to read the clock and then check your answer. So what time does the clock show? If you answered 9.30, you are correct, good job. What does the clock show now? What time is it? If you said two o'clock, you are correct, good job. What time does the clock show now? The clock is showing 4.30. What time does the clock show now? If you answered one o'clock, you are correct. Good job, boys and girls.